What's up Beam Tribe, Nick here from Ottawa and today we're going to cover the 90-90 position as a tool to help improve your hip mobility, specifically your hip rotation. So in this position we're working on both external, which is external rotation, which is what my right hip is in, and internal rotation, which is what my left hip is in. Okay, now why, why do we lose hip rotation? Uh, well, we lose it because like anything else in the body, any position that you use frequently gets developed. Any position that you don't use frequently gets taken away from you. And the reality is we spend most of our time resting in a chair sitting position, right? Whether it's on the couch or in the car or in a chair at work or at home, we spend a lot of time sitting in chairs. When you're sitting in a chair, your hip is in neutral rotation. So it's not rotated externally or internally, it's kind of right in the middle. So our bodies start to get tight in that, in that middle position and we lose the ability to rotate the hips. Now, why is hip rotation important? Well, when you're doing activities or sports, whatever rotation you've lost at your hip is gonna to start to be taken from your knee and your low back. And those areas don't like to rotate very much. So having rotation at the hip helps you be able to move more fluidly and avoids you stealing that rotation from the knee and the low back, which can become injured or painful over time if you continue to do that. So 90-90, what does it look like? It's a great position, number one, as a replacement for sitting in chairs. So if you have a yoga mat on the floor, sit on the ground in 90-90 instead of sitting in a chair, very powerful when done consistently. Uh, it's also a very good screen, right? If you can get into this 90-90 position on one side and on the other side, then you know you've got a good amount of rotational capacity at the hips, okay? So pure 90-90, this leg goes forward, knee at 90 degrees, this leg goes out to the side, knee at 90 degrees. That's why they call it 90-90, or sometimes people call it box sitting. Now, in this position, if you get into this position, or you try to, and your knee in the front is, for example, floating in the air, if this starts to cramp, you feel like someone just shot your hip, or if you feel like you're being pushed over and you have to put your hand down, that's okay. That's actually really common, and most people aren't gonna be able to get in this position. I wasn't able to for a long time until you start to work on it, okay? So, regressions that you can do. You can bend your knees, okay? You can put your hand down as a post, uh, or you can use like a bolster, like this kind of like sitting cushion to sit on, and that might let you get into that position a little bit easier. Okay, so you try it on one side, and then you can also try it on the other. And it's a really nice test for symmetry, because if I can do it on one side, but this side for me, it feels like I'm being pushed over a lot more. So I know I'm missing out on a little bit of internal rotation on my right hip. Okay, so it tells you about symmetry, and it tells you how much rotation you've got at both your hips. Now, the point with this is to spend time in the 90-90 position. Okay, so it doesn't matter what way you have to modify it. If I gotta bend both my knees, if I gotta put my hand here. Okay, the idea is spend, and as a good start, five minutes on one side, five minutes on the other side every day. So instead of sitting on the couch for the first 10 minutes of watching Netflix, spend it on the floor on a yoga mat in 90-90, five on one side, five on the other. And over time, you'll be able to track that improvement by how easy it is to get into this position. Okay, pretty simple. It should be challenging but tolerable no sharp pain, uh, and over time you should be able to feel like, oh, okay, I can actually straighten my knees a little bit more um, and get closer and closer to that kind of strict 90-90 position. In future 90-90 videos, we're gonna go over ways to actively mobilize here, whether it's leaning forward or lifting that back foot up. Um, we're gonna cover that in future videos, but for now, start using 90-90 every day as one of your rest positions, and you'll get some very powerful effects over time to improve your hip rotation and offload some of that rotation from your low back and your knees. Thanks for watching.